a differential gear train looks something like this, and we usually find them located between the back two wheels of a rear wheel drive car. On a front wheel drive car, we find it between the front two wheels, and we find one at the front and another at the rear of a four wheel drive car. However, we're going to stick with a rear wheel drive car in this video for simplicity. So why do we need it? When a car moves in a straight line, the engine provides power through the drive shaft into the differential, which divides the power between the two rear wheels. This propels the car along, and so the wheels will all rotate at the same time at the same speed. However, when a car turns, the front two wheels change direction, but the rear wheels remain in position. The wheels are now following different length paths. The inner path is shorter than the outer path, so the outer wheels must cover a longer distance in the same amount of time, and that means they need to rotate faster. So the rear wheels need to turn at different speeds. The differential allows the wheels to rotate at different speeds. If this wasn't installed, then both wheels would rotate at the same speed on corners, and this would cause the tires to slip and wear out. The car would become harder to handle, and the forces could even snap the axle. Therefore, we allow the rear wheels to rotate at different speeds to stop that occurring. We can see from this basic model differential that if I hold one of the wheels, the other can still rotate. This is known as an open differential. The problem we face is that if one of the wheels travels over a slippery surface, such as ice, almost all of the engine's power will transfer to the wheel with least resistance, and so the car becomes stuck. To solve that, we use a limited slip differential. Check out one of these videos to continue learning about automotive engineering. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, and theengineeringmindset.com.